It is rivalry weekend in college football, so that means millions of people will be glued to their TV sets. But as Jane Wells tells us, one legendary coach is hoping to change the way fans watch using what's known as a second screen strategy. Oh, they're going to run the pistol on them. No one knows Oklahoma football. Release the back out of the backfield. No one loves Oklahoma football. Billy Sims is in the house. Like Barry Switzer, the legendary coach now has a plan to profit from Oklahoma football through a venture called Coach's Cabana. Get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out. Actually, being in a setting like a reality show, been watching the game in my home with me, but it's interactive with an audience outside my home, which is really neat, and that's what the sponsors really like. Coach's Cabana works like a second screen. You watch Oklahoma football on TV, you listen to Switzer's commentary online, and since he never actually shows you the game, he doesn't have to pay for the rights to it. So has the NCAA said anything to him about this? I didn't even call him when I worked for him. You know what I mean? I know what the answer is going to be. No, no. I'd rather ask for forgiveness, Jane. Last season, Switzer says his second screen coverage of the Cotton Bowl got 30,000 viewers and several thousand tweets. This season, Coach's Cabana has expanded to more teams with more coaches, and advertisers are starting to sign on. I think I'll take a drink of Diet Coke. And you can tweet me and interact with me at the same time, and you can watch, don't have to watch someone on network television do the color who's never covered a kickoff or brought one back. Understand, girl? Tweet us anything. The entire enterprise is a somewhat chaotic, rocky work in progress, but it's not costing very much. Switzer thinks with the right former coaches and the right rabid fan bases, his second screen experiment could expand to 30 schools. The only drawback? I can't drink doing this in the ball game. I like to have a beer every once in a while. Especially in his own home. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Jane Wells.